Okay, we'll start with the new Mustad Heritage R43 Alpha Point. This is a size 10, extra long. I've got Unithread Orange 8 Alt. This is the October Cadiz. So we'll just go along here. Want a slight foundation for the abdomen. And there's three very significant trigger points on the natural. That's the orange body, the dark wing, and the actual size of the natural, which is quite large. So we just spin our tying thread uh, anti-clockwise, so I can get a flat profile. There we go. And then we split that like so. Then what I'm using is the trite right line uh, spiky orange dubbing. And we just put what we want is a body that increases in size. So we start off with a small bit of dubbing and then we get a little bit more, a little bit more, and more. Then what we can do is just spread this out before we spin it up. Like so. Now I spin it clockwise to make a dubbing rope. Our dipping brush. When we get to this stage, if there's any big lumps, we can just tease these out because these will stop it spinning correctly. Like so. Spin that up again. That's good. And then we'll just wrap this on. Now important when you start wrapping this, we hold the fibres down with our finger. We go forward, building up the body. A great pattern to fish. Uh, very exciting pattern because it's a great wake skating pattern. We just go forward. a little bit more dubbing there. We can just wrap that on. Twist it on as regular dubbing. I've gone in a little short. I want to build up that front body. There we are. Uh, I'll take my whip finisher and I'll just put two whip finishes in there. that thread and we'll remove that. Take our dubbing brush and just pull out those fibres. Right, you can trim this down if you like but I like to leave it, pull out those super long ones, I like to leave it very straggly like that. We need some Dyneema or GSP for our deer hair and we'll just attach this at the front like so and remove that oops and what we want to do here is just put a whip finish in there as well spin this anti-clockwise to give it a flat profile and this is some Veniard uh, deer hair dyed black. Need to clean it and stack it. That's looking good. Measure your wing. And what we want to do is go around once, just around the deer hair, not around the hook, and then around the hook twice, 
and then we'll tighten in. The point of that is that we want that deer hair because it's a wing to stay on top of the hook shank. There we are. And then we just go carefully through, tightening up as we go forward. And we can pull everything back. What I do now is I go into a round profile, spinning my tying thread clockwise. And this will cut off the straddlers, like so. And then I'll just come up with my whip finisher. difficult to see where I'm coming from here. There we are. Put a whip finish in that, tighten up and give it one more. Good, we can remove our tying thread, take our dubbing comb or brush and just pull out any loose fibres like so, that's good, turn it upside down, we want to give it a clean cut on the underside, then we'll go round want to cone head on this Good, just need to trim that down a wee bit more. Lift that wing a little so the body gets to the surface. And we take our lighter, always burn from above, be very careful. Hold the wing out of the way with each burn. Super long up. And there we have it, October Caddis. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.